Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Brambo Gaming, and a new Mario Party game called Super Mario Party recently released for the Nintendo Switch. And get this, the series is actually good again. The stupid car mechanic from Mario Party 9 and 10 is finally gone, the presentation here is amazing, and there's actually a lot of variety in the different game modes that you can play. However, the true highlight of this new game is all of the 80 new minigames that are constantly thrown at you no matter which game mode you're playing. Now, these minigames can range from extremely fun and creative to not so fun and extremely boring. And since you viewers love my ranking videos, and since I apparently love spending way too much time and effort into making them, today I'll be ranking every single minigame in Super Mario Party from worst to best. Here's how the format for this ranking will work. Since I'm sure y'all don't want an hour long video about this, I'll only be spending around 5 to 15 seconds discussing each minigame, depending on their ranking on the list. The name of the minigame being ranked will be in the name slider in the bottom left corner, the ranking number will be in the top left corner, and the type of each minigame will be listed in the top right corner. Anyways, with all that explained, let's start this list. <sighs> Number 80, Rattle and Hmm. All you do in this minigame is try and memorize Joy-Con rumble patterns that are way too similar to differentiate, and then try and guess which one is being played. An extremely boring and lengthy minigame that I personally found to be extremely lacking in the fun factor. Number 79, Suit Yourself, the easiest and most boring memory game ever made. I'm dead serious about this, a 5 year old could probably beat this one with an S rank. Number 78, Rumble Fishing, another excruciatingly boring and bland rumble minigame that has almost nothing special about it. Number 77, Precision Gardening. Do you enjoy repeatedly spamming buttons? Of course you don't, but do you know what's worse than spamming buttons? Spamming motion controls! Gameplay! Number 76, Don't Wake Wiggler. Sure, it has nice visuals, but not only is this minigame extremely boring and lackluster, it's also slanted toward the person who's randomly chosen to go first. Number 75, Pull It Together. Your standard mash the A button until your thumb falls off minigame. Number 74, Sort of Fun. Even the game developers knew how bad this game was when they titled it. Number 73, Maths of Glory. Nintendo presents Mario Teaches Typing, the Math Edition. Number 72, Go With the Flow. A cooperative minigame that is boring, repetitive, has no challenge to it, and goes on for way too long. Number 71, Baton and On. Four words, bad motion control minigame. Oh, and a few more words. Your arm will be completely sore after this one. Number 70, Social Climbers. Another lackluster motion control minigame. I swear, it's like the Wii Remote all over again. Number 69, Clearing the Table. This rhythm minigame is extremely basic and not that visually appealing. Number 68, Try Carter. I mean, it's sort of fun, but the way you have to use the motion controls in this game just makes it feel so... clunky and awkward, to say the least. Plus, it's way too short. Number 67, Candy Shakedown. Yet again, it can be fun at times, but the candy is usually extremely annoying and uncooperative. And number 66, Metal Detectors. It's a basic rumble coin minigame that has no interaction between the players. Yep. Number 65, Fireplace Race. Eh. Number 64, Lost in the Shuffle. Would have been a lot more fun if it had multiple rounds instead of only one. Number 63, Minor Setbacks. As you can probably tell, I'm not that fond of the cooperative minigames. Number 62, Rowboat Uprising. This one kind of controls awkwardly and feels extremely short. Number 61, Pep Rally. Another pretty basic rhythm minigame that doesn't have much variety to it. Number 60, Half the Battle. It's definitely a Mario Party minigame. Can't really say more about this one, it's truly that generic in my opinion. Number 59, Penguin Pushers. You can't throw the baby penguins off of a cliff. 0 out of 10, worst minigame ever. Number 58, Nutcases. Probably the best Rumble minigame in Super Mario Party, but it's still lackluster and pretty basic. Number 57, Isthmus Be The Way. I know a lot of people are probably going to be upset about this, but I just found this minigame to be more boring than fun. Rant all you want in the comments, it's not going to change my mind. Number 56, Timing Is Money. I don't really like it that the bombs take away all of your coins, but other than that, this one's pretty decent. Number 55, Absent Minded. The music's pretty catchy. Number 54, Off The Chain. This 1v3 is pretty fun, but I do feel like it's slanted toward the 3 player team. Number 53, Wiped Out. Sure, why not? Number 52, Net Worth. One of the more tolerable cooperative minigames. Number 51, Barreling Along. It's kinda slow, and the controls can be a bit awkward at times, but it's still decently fun. Number 50, Juice Box. A semi-generic find the matching pair minigame. Number 49, Tall Order. Eh, yeah, I mean it's good, but it's not that good in my opinion. 
Number 48, All-Star Swingers, the closest thing we'll get to a Mario baseball game from the Nintendo Switch. Number 47, Lightning Round, it's a coin minigame and it's extremely generic, but it's kind of fun at the same time. Number 46, get over it. At least you're not in a washing pot with a hammer in this one. Number 45, toe the line. Yet again, I know this is a favorite among a lot of players, but I found it to be a pretty generic match the shape minigame that doesn't have too much going for it. I mean, it's a good minigame. It is incredibly unique. I just didn't find it to be as fun as a lot of the other minigames on this list. Number 44, home on the rang. A decent cooperative minigame that feels like it should have been a free for all minigame instead. Number 43, take a stab. You're just gonna throw away that perfectly good food? Wow, what wasters. Number 42, follow the money. I like how this minigame not only rewards the players that make it far, but also spawns coins in the back of the map so they have to come up with the best strategy if you want to get the most coins. Number 41, drop quiz. If you really want your friends to hate you, then make sure to play this gimme game at least once, if not multiple times. Number 40, Look Sharp. It's a fun and competitive minigame when you're playing against other players, but a guaranteed win if you're going up against any sort of CPU. Number 39, Block and Load. This 1v3 is not only pretty balanced, but it's also fun. The only downside of it is that the teams have no interaction through this minigame whatsoever. Number 38, Rhythm and Bruise. Monty Mo knows what he's doing. He's condoning violence to his own kind. You're on the same level of scum that Mario is now, Montimo. How does that make you feel? Number 37, Hammer and Sickum. Fun minigame even though it's extremely short. Number 36, Fiddler on the Hoof. Nintendo presents Horse Riding Simulator featuring Mario and friends. Number 35, Snack Attack. Anyone else craving popcorn after playing this minigame? Number 34, Fruit Forecast. It's raining fruit from out of the sky. Fruit, no need to ask why. Number 33, Lit Potato. This minigame gets surprisingly intense once you get down to about 2-4 to four players. Number 32, What a Racket. It seems like it is unbalanced toward the one player team, but I still had a good time playing this one. Number 31, Smashing Crab. Yet again, I'm pretty sure it's slightly unbalanced toward the one player, but hey, if it's fun, then I'm not gonna complain. Number 30, Fetch Quest. Even though I dislike cooperative minigames as a whole, this one's actually pretty fun. Easily the best out of the group. Number 29, It's the Pits. It's a lot like the one Bowser minigame from Mario Party 10. Number 28, Can Take Pancake. This one has a lot of strategy packed into the 30 seconds of this minigame. Number 27, State Your Claim. It's a nice minigame, but it can get somewhat repetitive after a while. Number 26, Perfect Fit. Clever use of the motion controls and the Joy-Cons, just don't play this minigame with any computer players. Number 25, Drop Shot. I personally find this one to be one of the most fun 1v3 minigames in Super Mario Party. Number 24, Train in Pain. Number 23, Dark Gallery. This minigame is one of the most clever 1v3 minigames in Super Mario Party in my opinion. It's a shame that it's pretty unbalanced toward the 3 player team, however. Number 22, Strike It Rich. One of the better rhythm minigames in Mario Party due to the old school vibes that it gives off. Number 21, Feeding Frenzy. Basically just hungry hungry hippos, but a million times better. Number 20, Dust Buddies. Gotta admit it's an extremely balanced 1v3 minigame, which is what got it this high on this ranking. Number 19, Sphere Mongers. I love how you can just steal the metallic spheres from the other player's magnets while they're in the middle of transferring them to their own goal. Plus, it's a fun collectathon minigame in general. Number 18, Cruisin' for a Bruisin'. A pretty fun endless runner minigame that gets a lot more intense the longer that it goes on. Number 17, Dash and Dine. It does tend to end in a draw more often than a lot of the other minigames games, but this one is extremely unique, original, and overall fun to play. Number 16, Making Faces. A clever and unique mashup between the Stretching Faces minigame from a previous Mario Party and the Picture Perfect minigame from Super Mario Odyssey. Number 15, Trip Navigator. Even though there's no interaction between the players, this free-for-all minigame still has a lot of fun and charm to it. Number 14, Pie Hard. In this minigame, you throw pies at the other player's team. And yes, it's as fun as it sounds, one of our personal favorites in this game. Number 13, Time to Shine. An extremely well-designed and aesthetically amazing rhythm minigame that has a lot of variety to it. But let's be honest, it would be so much better if you could dance to the taco stand theme instead. Number 12, Bopping Spree. A lot of people seem to think that this minigame is unbalanced toward the one player side, but I personally think it's very balanced and very fun. The three player team just needs to be very coordinated to win, which is very possible, believe me. Number 11, Senseless Census. This is probably the most creative take on a counting minigame that I've seen in the most recent Mario Party games. Number 10, Grid Iron Gauntlet. A simple bullet hell minigame that is not only enjoyable, but ramps up the difficulty pretty quickly, so that's actually a challenge. Plus, it's fun to screw over your opponents by pushing them into the way of the charging chucks. 
Number 9, Heir to a Fortune. I definitely find this one to be the best coin minigame in this game, as it's all purely based around strategy instead of just scrambling around to grab randomly placed coins. It can also lead to a lot of funny moments when playing it with actual people instead of CPUs. Number 8, Soaker Croak. In this minigame, you try and knock out your opponents out of the arena by shooting at them with water guns. One of the most intense, fair, and fun to play minigames out of them all. Number 7, Bumper Brawl. A fun and enjoyable minigame that can become extremely crazy when you have a lot of allies in it. This is honestly what Bumper Brawl should have been. Number 6, Looking for Love. This minigame is so good simply because of how fun, unique, fast paced, and original it is. Number 5, Sign, Steal, and Deliver. I personally think this is the best out of the 1v3 minigames due to not only the extreme amounts of balance that it has between the two teams, but also because both sides are unique and enjoyable to play. Nintendo really nailed it with this one. Number 4, Fuzzy Flight School. This minigame has great presentation, extremely solid motion controls, is very fun to play, and you can still screw up your opponents when playing it. Number 3, Sizzling Stakes. This minigame is very enjoyable and probably has the most creative use out of the Joy-Con out of all the minigames on this list. On top of that, this one actually controls well. It really makes you feel like you're cooking a steak cube, if you get know what I mean. Number 2, Just for Kicks. It's a fun soccer minigame and a Mario Party game that plays like a soccer game, and you can punch your opponents to get the ball from them. Of course I have to put this one as one of the best minigames on this ranking. And finally, at number 1, we have Slapperazzi. Do you ever just want to beat the crap out of your friends in a Mario Party game and get some funny photos in the meantime? Well then, this minigame is definitely for you. It's honestly one of the most fun, yet cutthroat Mario Party games that I've played, and I love it. Which is why I've ranked it at number 1 on my list. Well guys, those were all of the 80 minigames ranked from worst to best in Super Mario Party. I honestly probably spent way too much time on this video, but I hope it was worth it and that y'all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click on that notification bell to never miss another ranking. If you guys want me to do all minigames ranked in Mario Party 10 next, then comment down below telling me if you do. Anyways, with all that said, Ramble Gaming, over and out.